Broadcasting from our super expensive state-of-the-art satellite that was recently eaten by a giant piranha plant to your computer or mobile device, this is Minecraft News! Hello, and welcome to Minecraft News. I'm Adam, aka Swimming Bird, and I'm filling in for Sally Two Toes. Tonight, we've got a lot of news to share, so let's get going. Now, this is all Minecraft 1.4 stuff. So, Jeb has been working on making stairs connect in corners. If you build with stairs, you'll know that if you try to make a stair in a corner, it'll go one way or the other, and it won't really look right. So, here's some of the shots that Jeb's been doing. Now he's been testing these out for a bit now and he hasn't gotten it perfect because as you can see some of these little blocks here are pretty glitchy looking. They've got little like nubs and stuff. So he's trying to, to get those right but that should be something that's going to be in 1.4. So you can see his little, yeah, some of that looks pretty messed up. In other news, Dinnerbone has been working on fixing the lighting glitch that everyone hates. Now, there's a glitch currently in Minecraft where a lot of areas will have darker shadows than they should, and it annoys a lot of people. They've been working on it for a bit to try to fix that, and that's a big priority in 1.4. So Dinnerbone worked on it for a while, and he got it so that it's not 100%, but he uh, very much improved it. He did find like one block when he was testing. He thought he had tested it perfect, and then he found one dark block, so that really pissed him off and he decided to work on other things for a little bit. So they're going to go back to it, but it is not perfect yet. Now the other thing that Dinnerbone was working on is making maps clonable or shareable. And this is the new look of the map when you make one. It's kind of a zoomed in shot here. And he added the ability to make copies of this map to give to your friends. And you, anyone with a copy of the map can see uh, any people on that map when they're walking around so you'll see like a little marker for the player as you can see there on the left side now this is a zoomed in version of the map but if you want to zoom out you just add more paper which uh, supposedly is going to be just taking the map that you've already got and adding paper around the sides so what else has Dinnerbum been working on other than these maps and lighting issues he in a few weeks before he actually moved to Sweden he was working on a lectern for the books. Now here's a couple prototype shots. This is not what it's going to end up looking like here. Now this was going to be a way to place the books that we've crafted and written in on a pillar so that people can read them without taking them. And you know, we don't want people to take our, our books because they could just steal, uh, destroy them. So uh, here's what the prototype looks like. Now originally it was going to be one piece. This is not textured or anything. This is just a test. And he's decided now, though, that he thinks he wants to make a book stand and a pillar block that are separate. That way people can use the pillar block for other things, not just the book stand. And they would have the, uh, the book little placement they could put up other spots, too. He wants this to be eye height or so, so that you can walk right up and read the book. Not as low as, like, an enchantment table. But you could combine these two blocks to make something to put your books on. Now, he hasn't worked on this in a while, but he said he's planning on coming back to it soon. And one last bit of news, for anyone who remembers from a little while back last week, we are going to be able to dye leather armor a ton of different colors. Now, an update to this is that if you want your leather armor to turn back or you want to just wash it out to, uh, to start fresh with a new color because of all the combinations, you can just use your cauldron. So now the cauldrons have more of a use. You can actually wash your leather goods in there in 1.4 to get the color off and then re-dye it. So that's pretty cool. Now, tomorrow is going to be the 23rd of August, today's the 22nd, and we are going to probably have a new snapshot. So I'll be back for an actual snapshot video. I hope you guys enjoyed this edition, inaugural edition of Minecraft News. I'm just trying out a new format instead of just flying around aimlessly. So <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed this news coverage, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.